Hello, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a pick up and drop strip like this one so you can pick items up and you can easily modify this and expand it to make it however you want. So I have this simple scene where I just have a capsule that can move around and I have these cubes here with a rigid body and a collider on each of them and I'll just show you my scene. So I have like the camera, the light, this is just my player, I have a rigid body, a capsule collider and my movement script and I have a canvas to just add a, a dot in the middle with the default knob event system floor and then the three cubes. I'll just show you my movement script if you're curious. This is what it looks like. Like it just takes the WASD input and then moves you around and also gets your mouse input and rotates the camera. Uh, so we'll pick up these items here. So go to your layer and create a new object called pick up and drop or whatever you want to call it and create an add and double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. So we'll start off by uh, removing the start method and those comments and we'll just check for the uh, inputs. So input dot cat key, cat key down, and here put an E and oh, if input dot cat key down. And for this one we'll do Q. And I'll just make E to pick up and Q to drop. You can choose whatever keys you want. And we'll make this and here we'll do drop. So these don't exist yet, but we'll create them now. So go down here and do void pick up. Open and close parentheses and void drop. And now we need to make a public game object called camera and this will just reference our camera so we know what we're looking at. We'll make a float called maxic of distance and set it to 5 so that we know how far the object can be away. And we'll make a game object and this will just be the object that we're currently holding. So we can access scripts on it and whatever, like the rigid body and collider. And we'll also make a bool called is holding, and this will just be false by default. And if we pick something up, it will be set to true. So in the pickup script, we want to make a array pass called hit, and then uh, we'll check if this raycast, if physics dot raycast, uh, and we'll just create this raycast. So uh, we'll do camera dot transform dot forward. So the direction that we're looking, or never mind, <laughs> camera dot transform dot position so the position of our camera that's where the ray will start uh, camera dot transform dot forward this is the direction we're looking we'll store this in the hit variable and the max distance will be the max pickup distance and then if this hits something we'll check if that uh, hit dot transform uh, has the tag item and we'll just add the tag item to all of our objects once uh, we're done with this just go back to Unity and select your objects that you want to be able to pick up. Go to the tag, add a tag, and just press the plus and add a tag called item. And then go back to selecting your three cubes and just set them to the tag item. So if it hits an item called with a tag item, uh, then uh, item currently holding is going to be equal to the hit.transform.gameObject. So this is just the game object that we hit, and since our game objects have rigid bodies and um, and colliders, we want to disable these or like turn them off so that when you're holding it, they, they don't move. So and also since you might have like a child of that game object, if you have like a gun or something, and there's a child that has a rigid body, then we need to disable that too. So <clears throat> we'll just loop through um, each of these. Just copy what I'm typing. So for each, or for each variable C in hit.transform.getComponent collider, open and close parentheses. And then here we'll just check that is real. So if it's not equal to null, then we'll do collider dot or C dot enabled is equal to false. What's wrong? I'll get component in children. So we'll just check all of the children to see if it has a game object collider. And also make sure it says get components with an S right here. I forgot to add that in. So now we can copy this and paste it below and change the variable C to variable R and change collider to rigid body. And here we'll change it to R as well and R here as well. So and also we'll do R dot is kinematic to make it kinematic and we'll set it to true. So this is just going to make the rigid body pretty much not do anything so it stays in the same place and then we want to set the item currently holding dot transform dot parent equal to transform so it becomes the child of the same object so that it follows it around and we'll copy this and we want to set the item currently holding dot transform dot local position equal to vector three dot zero 
and this will just center it so that it's at the position of this game object and we'll also set the item currently holding dot transform dot local euler angles to vector 3.0 and we'll also set this holding equal to true we'll also check before we do any of this at the start up here if we are already holding something then uh, first we'll drop we'll drop that item and then continue to pick up this new thing because if you're already holding a cube and you want to pick up a new one you should drop the one you're already holding and then pick up the new one so that's what this will do and then for the drop script this one's a lot simpler it's 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 pretty much just the opposite of this so we'll do item currently holding dot transform dot parent is equal to null and this will just like take it off the same object so it's in the world and we can copy these two lines put them here and just make this true and this false we'll set is holding equal to false and we'll we'll also make a new ray cast hit called hit down and we'll make a new physics dot ray cast that starts at our transform dot position and goes in the direction of negative vector three dot up so it, it goes down and store this in the hit down variable we'll also set the item currently holding oh i forgot the setting we'll also set the item currently holding dot transform position equal to the dot point and you can leave it at this if you want and also change these to the item currently holding because we don't have access to this and we'll set the item currently holding dot transform dot position equal to the hit down dot the point this is just the ground below us and i'm also going to add a vector 3 value of transform dot forwards dot x zero on the y and transform dot forwards dot z for the z and this will just move it forwards a bit but you don't need to have this it's channel and save this go back into unity i'll actually remove this component and actually add a an empty game object on the camera because we want it to follow that and just call it item holder or anything and then uh on this add the pick up and drop spread and now you can move this one from the z and 0.5 on the x just so it's forwards in the side of it and then drag the main camera into the camera thing here so now when you press play you should put in and when you press E on an object you can hold it and when you press Q you can drop it and it also works while you're holding and that's it. If you have any questions about this leave them in the comments and if you have any tutorials you want me to make leave it in the comments as well and I'll make it like within a few hours. I'll put a download to this project in the description as well as all the scripts and stuff so you can check it out and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.